Hello everyone, as promised, here's a video of 5 nail arts done with paint and with the one stroke technique made on the short nails that I have at the moment. base that I have mattified. I always mattify my color base to make sure that my paint is easier to work with so that it sticks well for a beautiful result. I have soaked my brush in blue and green paint to make some semicircles by turning the brush and crushing it slightly to make the circle a shape. I will apply each time two layers of paint on this design to get intense colors. When you apply two layers, you have to allow the first one to dry. If you spill over, as I have done here, take a new brush and you can simply clean with some water. But do it right away, don't wait for a few minutes. Then we will add three to four dots to design the corset depending on the length of your nails. It will be black dots for my nails. When they are dry, I add small white dots inside without overflowing. With the detailed brush, I will link the dots to make a lace. Link the first ones together, then cross them. Then I chose to make undone laces, but you can tie them if you want or simply make a knot to make it even prettier. Then I add some light with a double lacing with white color. So I add white lines next to the black ones to bring out the lace. Next, I've added some glitter flakes, so I apply the top coat on the semi-circle and not on the lacing, of course. I apply a mixed glitter flakes of the same color. I press on the glitter flakes with my finger to flatten them and make them more comfortable to wear. Then I clean the excess and apply my final top coat. Here it is! It's not a difficult nail art because there is no symmetry and because the circles and the corset are randomly done. For the second nail art, I've applied a white base, then I make a one-stroke gradient with my brush, I'll use white. And then I'll use another color that is not too flashy, use pastel colors instead or it will look too bulky. So, I use yellow and white and I add a stroke in the center of my nail. Then I use white and green on the side. Later on, I use white and blue to make a round shape in the center. It's a freestyle nail art, there's no rule, do it randomly. You can use this technique to make gradients, for example. You will have to use the same colors you've used on your brush. Same as the base, then white and another color. Now, I add some pink color and then I add some black outlines with a thin brush, but with a large body. I wanted to make a nail art like the one on my book cover, however I didn't use this technique for the book cover, it was done with a quarrel, but I wanted to make a nail art that looked like it. Once the outlines of the one stroke are done, I apply a small rhinestone and finally the top coat. For the next nail art, I will just use one color. I apply white on half of my brush, I make a gradient first, then I apply it on my nail. Then I make three small petals by twisting my brush slightly in some sort of a vibrating motion, going slightly up and down. The aim is not to obtain a neat petal shape, so I go on with little vibrating motions. For this technique, apply only one coat of paint because it will be hard to apply paint precisely at the same place. I've added another layer of petals inside the first ones, smaller this time with the same color and in one coat. Now I'll add some details to it, I make random lines. I hope they look like nerves on the leaves. This one is an easy nail art with only one coat of polish with six petals and it doesn't need to be a neat one. Once the nerves are done, it's now time to round the angles. To round the angles, I fill the corners to make them round, to get a nice effect. It's important to round the corners. I 
And then I add some small dots inside of the flower. The fourth nail art is for a higher level. With purple and white paint on my brush, I draw petals with sharp ends. To do that, I make some sort of brackets. My brush goes upward, I lift my brush and then I go down. It's hard to do it in one step, I advise you to do it in two steps. I draw a small petal inside of the big one. And always in two coats of paint. Then I will define the outlines with a detailed brush and white paint to obtain a neat shape. Outlines are useful when you're a beginner since it helps to hide quite a lot of defects. Then I've made a small spiral with a very diluted purple paint. For detailed design, dilute your paint, otherwise it will be a mess. I apply the top coat and a small Swarovski rhinestone. And the last nail art is a small flower that looks like a sticker. I start by making a huge petal here in a 45 degree angle approximately. Then I surround it with two pieces on the side to form a separate sort of a heart. I don't really know how to explain this. The big petal is surrounded by two small ones that meet at the bottom. For that, you really need to twist your brush. If you don't know how to twist your brush using your fingers, don't try to make this flower because it won't work. This time, I make a small petal in the middle, stick it with the first one. The white has to be very close to the white. Twisting my brush, I add a bridge at the bottom and another one below. To finish the design, I add two very tiny commas with the brush aligned in the right angle to obtain a thin line. I've made a very basic flower as I didn't have enough space on my nail. Then I add small leaves with just one color. I paint the brackets of the previous nail art. And I will also provide some light with white paint and I make the outlines to make them neater. So here it is, leave a comment to tell me which is your favorite nail art or the one that you didn't like much, why not? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for weekly nail art tutorials. Thanks a lot to all the ones that are following me and see you next week for a new...